Hello, I'm Martin Gonzalez. I'm the general manager at Jalisco Number no. 1 on the corner of University in Grandview. Today, I'm bringing a presentation on how to raise business and raise my owner's wallet. Now, I went around all of Odessa, Midland area, and looked at different restaurants to see what they're doing that we're not, why they have an upper hand on us. And it turned out that we're, we just haven't took that next step in what we do. We have a beer and wine license. That means we sell purely beer, purely wine, which is good and all, but more people around here are looking for that little, that little, mm, little extra step. Every other place around here, like Tequila Tony's, Ahua's, Dos Compadres, all of that, they have their mixed beverage license. Now, the mixed beverage license gives you more of a variety of what you can drink. It gives you more chance for people to order more entrees, appetizers. And it's the mixology factor is great. You can dress things up different. You can make things on, you can put things on fire, explosions, all of that. So to start off, we'd have to go to TABC and we'd have to get the TABC mixed beverage license, which is, so we'll have to start at step one, which is a $6,000 license and you can stay open until 12 o'clock selling beverages. Now to do that would be a great idea and to maintain a strong firm hand on your business on the alcohol wise to so make sure nothing's getting taken out to the back door, make sure nobody is pouring extra and make sure no one's drinking on the job, I will volunteer. I have experience a year and a half of bartending. I'll volunteer to run the bar and still manage it to the best you can have. Now after that, let me go to these posters real quick. Give me a, an, a visual. Now this is the beer and wine. This is where we're at now. One bottle of beer costs $3.49 without tax. One draft beer, $4 without tax. A glass of wine is $7 without tax. This is all without tax right now. Total cost of someone who's made those three purchases would be $14.49. Well, you know, not bad, not bad, considering you pay $24 a case and probably, I believe, $90 for a keg and 30 bucks for a bottle of wine. So taking all that out, you're making a decent amount of profit. It's all right. You got to remember, you got to look at the whole aspect of your restaurant. Beer contains a lot of yeast. Yeast fills people up. So people get full faster. That means, oh, let's say they come in, drink four beers, and then they wanted to eat when they got there, no longer do because they're full on the beer. And it's boring. Like You got to keep people interested. You got to have the mixology factor, which I'll get to that in a sec. This is the mixed beverage license, which remember, with the mixed beverage license, you can include beer. One top shell liquor shop or drink, eight fifty without tax, an estimate. A well liquor, which well liquor is the more cheaper brands, not big name, and four dollars without tax for a drink or shot with that. And like I said, you include beer. We're gonna include a bottled beer and a draft beer, seven fifty without tax. Comes out to twenty dollars without tax in profit. A bottle of liquor costs to uh, on, a, on average, $30 for a bottle. With these three sales right here, you've already made 20 bucks. You've made half your uh, money back. And that's one shot. Think about that. All right. When you get people drunk, which not over, over pouring, over selling, just when you get them feeling good, a little relaxed, they get hungrier. They don't get full like they do on beer. The mixology factor that I've been talking about, let's say... Um, some newly 21 kids come in. They're ready to see what the bar life's about. They come in, they ask me for a drink. Right off the bat, I'm, okay, I got you something. Grab a bottle, I spin it, pour it, light it on fire, put it in front of them. Wow, there's a wow factor, oh my God, that's amazing. They'll wanna come back, they'll wanna order more. So you gotta keep that in mind. And on top of everything else, compared to beer, which you have your main 10 brands that people wanna drink, that you will sell, you can have up to 12 to 15 bottles different. And then with one bottle, one regular tequila bottle, I can make up to eight different drinks. Throw in pineapple, throw in orange juice, throw in cherry juice. 
All of that gives you a wide variety and a better taste. Now think about it. Like I said, one drink 750, one drink 349. Which one's really holding up? So you told me to go and think of an idea to how I can raise business, how I can make more money, more profit. That's it. You just take that next that next step in being your bar and grill. You just make everybody have a better time. And you can do that with the mixed beverage license. That's all I have for you today. I hope you take my idea really into consideration. And have a great day.